One of the highlights of my Senate career was assisting in crafting and passing the Americans with Disabilities Act to protect the rights of disabled Americans and to help them live the fullest lives possible. One provision of the law requires hotels, motels, restaurants, and other public places to accommodate disabled guests who arrive with service animals. And these specially trained animals enrich the lives of many disabled Americans by performing vital tasks that increase their owner's safety, mobility, and their independence. So please take time to learn more about these special animals and the owners who depend on them so you can help both feel welcome the next time they come to visit. Bryn is a guide for me. She'll see to it that I don't fall up or down steps. She'll stop at them or curves. She sees what I can't and reacts accordingly. Tilly helps me when the phone rings because I can't hear it because it has a very high frequency. Uh, when the fire alarm happens, it really doesn't happen often. She would come and respond to me at that time. I am hearing impaired since birth and Harris is able to alert me to the doorbell, the microwave oven, the knocking at the door, someone calling my name, smoke detectors. She picks up anything I drop, she pulls me in my wheelchair, she turns on light switches with her nose and off with her paws. She knows about 50 commands. And she goes everywhere with me, to work, the stores, to the restaurants, on the plane. What will you do the next time a disabled person arrives at your hotel, motel, or restaurant with a service animal? Well, by knowing the law and remembering just a few simple rules, you can make their visit a happy and positive experience for them, for your other guests, and for your business. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to yeah. the hotel. Thank you. Is there anything that we can do to make your stay more enjoyable for you and your dog? No, not right now, but could you guide us to a uh, registration place? Oh, registration is just to the right, sir. Thank you much. Enjoy your stay. Okay. When we go into a restaurant, don't put us at the table way in the back of the restaurant, hidden from the public, because we just like to be treated as everyone else. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. One for lunch? Yes, please. Would you prefer a table or a booth? A table. Can I offer you assistance? Yeah, may I take your elbow? <laughs> They are a customer that keep businesses going. And they have every right to be out, to enjoy themselves, to have a nice dinner somewhere, or to be able to have relaxation in a nice hotel, motel, to be like anyone else on the street. And it's very important to us in the service industry to take care of our customers. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning, Monica. Thank you. Your hotel, motel, or restaurant is required by federal law to welcome disabled guests and their service animals. Under the law, disabled guests with service animals are guaranteed the very same rights as any other guests, with the same access to restaurants, swimming pools, exercise rooms, transportation, and any other areas where your guests are normally allowed. It's against the law to ask a disabled guest for proof of disability or to prove that their service animal is certified to provide assistance. Remember, some disabilities like hearing loss and seizure disorders are invisible and not readily apparent. So when a guest says that he's disabled and needs his animal for assistance, you must assume that it's true. Guests with service animals cannot be restricted to certain floors or rooms nor can they be charged an additional fee or cleaning deposit when they register. But like any other guest, they can be billed for any damage caused by them or their service animals, which is highly unlikely, because service animals are clean, healthy, and they're well trained. Seth had basically 20 months of training from the time he was born through his socialization, living with a family, then he had six months of training as to be a proper guide dog. Then Seth and I had a month of training together. Good girl, what? Harris has about a half hour every day in which we work on sounds, work on obedience training, uh, hand signals, and so forth. So she's constantly getting training. But... These dogs only go to the bathroom on command. So there's no possibility that the dog is going to have an accident in your room. Union is bathed every week or two. We know that she's clean. I wouldn't want her sleeping on my bed if she weren't a clean dog. 
The only time you can reject a service animal is if it's being aggressive, unsafe, or disruptive by barking or threatening employees or other guests. But again, this is highly unlikely. The dog isn't going to give them any problem. It's not going to hurt them. It won't bite them. He's very safe, very gentle, very quiet dog. There, there isn't anything to be afraid of. By denying disabled guests and their service animals access to your establishment, or by failing to accommodate them, you are breaking the law and exposing yourself to serious penalties. If a business refuses to provide service to a disabled person with, with a service animal, it could cost the business thousands and thousands of dollars in penalties, fines, and attorney fees. It's important to remember that service animals are not pets. That's why the law allows them in areas where pets are typically barred. If you have a no-pet policy, it does not apply to service animals. While most service animals are dogs, other animals are sometimes used, like monkeys, for example. Thank you. Thank you. Unlike pets, service animals are specially trained to perform specific tasks that help increase their owner's mobility, independence, and safety. Thank you. What a good girl. To make your disabled guests and their service animals feel welcome, remember these simple rules. First, treat them like any other guest with the same rights and responsibilities. Be sure to ask your disabled guests if they need help. Don't assume that they do. Do not touch a disabled guest or their service animal without permission. It's rude and can jeopardize their safety. Do not pet, feed, or distract service animals in any way. Remember, they're not pets. They're working. Finally, don't forget that service animals have needs, so try to provide an area where they can be walked to relieve themselves. By remembering the law and these simple rules, you can make your disabled guests and their service animals feel welcome. It's good business, and it's the right thing to do. This has been an education and outreach program of the American Hotel and Lodging Association, created by its affiliate, the California Hotel and Lodging Association Educational Foundation. Major funding for the program was provided by the American Hotel and Lodging Foundation and the American Express Foundation.